Comparing the same things in the same way. Yep. Compare the same things in the same way. It's way too important to know your fundamentals. I guarantee you that the moment that you see that connection, that relationship between what you see on paper and what you've been taught, once you see that connection, it's going to get so much easier. So remember, compare the same things in the same way. Write that down if you don't have it written down. But let's start off right over here, understanding the question. Then how much goes toward savings? Okay. And if you look at your answer choices here, it looks like we're talking about a dollar amount. I mean, I'm not blind. That Those are dollar amounts. So I think we can all go ahead and say that we're looking for the dollar amount that represents savings. And I don't think anybody here said that they had a problem identifying the actual question. So are we good to move on? Again, we're looking for the dollar amount that corresponds to savings. And again, look, I didn't have to read the whole problem for that. You can go straight to the question sentence and understand what you're looking for. Okay, great. So next up, what information do we have? Well, in the same sentence, because the how much goes towards savings, that wasn't the only thing in that sentence. So let's make sure we, you know, just cover our bases. And it says $420 goes towards your car payment. Okay, sounds good. So I'm going to say right over here. All right. Now, here's where it's very important to, to get your setup correct. So first things first, notice that up top we have savings and underneath it we have the amount for your car payment. Now, if you're going to be comparing the same things in the same way, I'm doing a good job here because I'm representing the dollar amount first and then it looks like we're going to have a percentage here and a percentage all the way over here. And it's going to be up to us to make sure that we line them up correctly. What percent represents savings? Which of these percents represents the car? So tell me everybody, which percent corresponds with savings? Yeah, the 32%, that's what corresponds with savings. So right here, right here, 32%. It says goes towards savings. So that's how we know we're in a good spot. That's how we know we can represent that right over here. That represents, this thing works half the time. There we go. That corresponds with 32%. And so what about the car? Well, what percentage is that gonna be? What percentage is that gonna be? 14, right here. 14% of your monthly income goes towards your car payment. So they give it to you. They outline it for you. Your job is to practice your reading skills to the point where being under pressure of being, a time, of being under a timer, that doesn't affect how well you can pick information up. So here we are. This right here, 14%. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So here we are, everybody, do we see our setup here? Do we see how we're comparing the same things in the same way? Do we see that, hey, this is the amount of savings that we're looking for. This is the percent that that savings represents. We have the car payment and we have the percent represented by the car payment. We're comparing the same things in the same way. Dollar amount to percentage, dollar amount to percentage, same ideas, savings up top, car on bottom but we're just comparing the dollar amount to the percentage amount. And so all we have to do now, set things up. I'll use X right here. We'll have X over 32 equals 420 over 14. And from here, we can just do what we need to do. We can try to cross multiply and divide if we want to, but I wouldn't suggest that because 32 times 420 no, thank you. No, thank you is what I'm going to say to that. So instead, let's see what we can simplify. Now, even if you look at the 420 and the 14 and you're telling me, hey, coach, I don't know if 14 can go into 420. Let me ask you this. If you don't know how many times 14 can go into 420, what's 14 made up of? My party people, 14 is what times what? 
14 is what times what? 2 times 7. So that's how you can simplify things for yourself. Instead of trying to divide the top and the bottom by 14, even if you don't know if it can divide, ask yourself, well, could I do 7? Could I do 2? Think about it. Could I do 7? Could I divide 7 out of both 420 and 14? Yeah, absolutely good. I could also do two as well. But remember, when it comes to simplifying, you want to try to lean towards the bigger numbers. That's typically going to be in your benefit. So here, we're going to go ahead and let's divide out a seven. Yeah, it'll take less steps. The bigger number you factor out, the less steps you'll be taken care of. So here, it, truly, it'll be 14. But I'm working with you in case you didn't see that it was 14. We can take the seven out. And that's going to reduce this down over here to x over 32 equals everyone 420 divided by 7. That would be 60. That's correct. And then 14 divided by 7 would be 2. And so then from there, you can continue simplifying if you'd like to, because you'll notice again, well, 60 and 2 are both divisible by 2, giving you x over 32 equals 30 over 1. My party people, is this proportion easier to solve than this one here? Is this easier than that? Huge difference, right? Massive difference. And all we took advantage of is the fact of how fractions work. We can simplify fractions and we can do that before we calculate giving us easier numbers to deal with. So now all we have to do, cross multiply here, x times one, wow, hardest question of the day, that'll be x. 32 times 30, don't worry, that's actually not that hard. You can do 32 times three, then tack the zero on at the end. 32 times three, that's 96, bring the zero in at the end, that's 960. Not that bad, right? Not that bad. As long as we aim to just use and apply these basic strategies, simplify before you multiply, you know, generally speaking, simplifying before you calculate, good move. Very good move. Don't forget, we have a free class once a week, typically on Mondays, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you'd like to join, go ahead, go to that link over there, or text free class to 833-321-0182. Ace the ASVAB.